What's poppin', y'all? Cardi B is always in something. And that kind of... You know what? Let me just get into it before I start giving my commentary on it. So what's recently happened is Cardi B on two separate occasions has been videoed performing and then slinging. I mean, like a boomerang that she thought was going to come back a microphone into the crowd or at someone. The most recent one didn't turn out too well. The first one, I'll play the clip for you guys. So the first one, Drink Throne, she just instinctively, you know, picks up the flip-flop, the sandal, just chucks it over there. A typical Bronx Latino woman. I didn't... Some people say keep your cool, which I understand. Would I suggest someone to do this? Would I do this? Probably not. But let's keep in mind, Cardi B is not the brightest star in general. So you can't expect her you know, calmer minds will prevail. She's not very intelligent. So for her to act out in this way, it's not a surprise. And it's kind of like, you got to give her a pass for this one. Most, for example, like Kid Cudi, you saw what they were doing to him at Rolling Loud? Man, he, if anybody, he could have chucked that microphone into the Rolling Loud crowd the way they were doing it. They were chucking everything at him, not just water or drinks. I also don't think fans have some entitlement to be able to just throw stuff at artists. I think it's disrespectful. However, the second moment comes, and then Cardi B's throwing the microphone at a DJ, which I don't even know the situation behind that. I don't know the context, but in quick succession, it doesn't look too great. However, now, there's an article that came out. It says, a concert goer who claims they were struck by Cardi B's microphone at the Las Vegas show, which is the one that the drink got thrown at. Because we don't even know if the microphone hit the person that threw the drink. It could have hit somebody else. That's the biggest issue that I have with it. Has filed a police report. On July 30th, 2023, an individual came into Las Vegas Police Department station to report a battery. When when police did not mention Cardi B by name in their statement, the address on the incident report matched the location where she was performing on Saturday. During a concert, she was struck by an item that was thrown from the stage. No arrest or citation has been issued. Cardi B did not respond. There's a bunch of angles. This, I had to look at this. Also, BB Rexa, for instance, she was another artist who got stitches after someone threw the phone at her face, which is ridiculous. A bunch of people, you know, stay, number one, stay off the stage. Stop throwing stuff on stage. Get these people out of here. I don't know what's wrong with them. But Cardi B, I think the reason why she acts like, you have to keep in mind, this is supposedly she hasn't dropped an album but off perception off of her catalog off of what she's accomplished thus far this is arguably the biggest female rapper in maybe the world at least in america the past couple of years i mean who's bigger or at least the past five years she won a can you believe she won a grammy over travis scott and Pusha t but i'm getting off topic here if if i if we start on that rant that's more criminal than the Macklemore thing. I don't care. I love to talk about, oh, Macklemore and Kendrick Lamar. I'm getting into the rambling thing again. I know some of y'all mess with it, but it's not for this video. Cardi B is someone that has never faced repercussions and has only received reward for any time she's acted uncivilized. Remember the situation where I think it was when she threw the boot at Nicki Minaj? Or was it Nicki Minaj that threw it at her? That's a good... I don't remember the timeline on that. That whole situation, there was the situation where someone said she used the tattoo of him on the album cover. She won that one. There was her obviously getting away with and bragging about drugging and robbing dudes, which no surprise there. And then there was an incident that's escaping the top of my mind. She was sued for it, and then she ended up beating the case. Okay, I completely remember. It was... A brawl or a fight. I don't know if she got someone beat up, but I think it was one of Six Nine's girls or Six Nine's old girl. One of these rap thoughts. All right, let's, one of these rap chicks that gets tossed around rapper to rapper. She had allegedly been with Offset or tried to do something with him. So Cardi B got her beat up or beat her up herself. And then she went to case, it went to trial, and then she ended up getting like 15 days of community service. So everything that someone should be punished for. Cardi B just gets away with. 
if we're keeping it a buck, actually, no, I wouldn't say that. I was going to say Cardi B is maybe like the f- male or female Kodak Black, but Kodak Black actually did time a bunch of times. Cardi B just gets away with everything, which, dude, if you're this big of a star and you're throwing stuff, and this is the problem, is people kind of hail this as like, oh, this is cool, like BuzzFeed. They had this article on Yahoo. Look at this headline. Only Cardi B could make meme history by chucking a microphone. So here are the seven funniest ones so far. What kind of a headline is this? Let's keep it a buck. If this was any male rapper or or even another female rapper, but definitely any male rapper chucking this, dude, they would be on about it, how this person's violent, especially if there were women in the crowd and he got anywhere near them. They're making it seem like a microphone. This is like a styrofoam microphone. A microphone is very, very hard. And for someone to fling it into the stage, that thing hits you anywhere. It's causing damage. But it's always a joke when Cardi B does something. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Oh, yeah, that's her personality. That's just her. That's the one thing that I can't wrap my head around when people say, oh, yeah, that's just her. But if someone else did that exact same behavior, they would condemn it. Cardi B is tweaking out. I think Cardi B is burnt out musically when have we heard the another album from cardi b and what have the excuses been well i wasn't going to hear an album from cardi b anyway i didn't even listen to her first one but she's been you know and now they tried to drop that song i know y'all remember it the song with i think it was low dirk and kanye west that one did not do too hot i think it like it charted I, they all they tried to do their best but it wasn't sticking you can only force something so much or if, try to force it so hard before people let you know, like, yo, this this is just not it. Keep throwing money at it. It's not going to make it it. She hasn't been on tour. She's hopped on every feature damn near. She She's also still beefing with Nicki Minaj, which I'm not going to say anything negative about Cardi B for beefing with Nicki Minaj. That's just rap beef. It's always good for us. As long as nobody's actually getting hurt, I love rap beef. Beef more, guys. Especially when they start working with other artists, like for example, Cardi B hops on a sexy red feature. I think Cardi was Cardi B. She was on the Glorilla, Glorilla record. Her and Nicki are just kind of like doing feature offs now, just hopping on every new chick's record, which was something that we weren't seeing Nicki Minaj do a lot of before the competition came in for Cardi B. I think this behavior by fans needs to be called out more than just coming at Cardi B here. Even though what I think she did was in character, I think it's completely wrong because you don't have aim like that. You're not going to hit the right person. So you throwing it puts it puts someone else into danger. So hopefully if someone actually got hurt, they get a check off of her. Unless it's the person that threw the drink. The person that threw the drink, you deserve it. You deserve to get a beat down too. Like, what is this? You think this is an animal on stage? Now, maybe some people will say she behaves like an animal on sometimes, which that's an argument to be made, which is not what we're talking about. Like, this is a human being on stage that's performing, that was paid to perform there. You went there, and this is another argument. Some people are saying, oh, you paid to go see Cardi B. She was at a club. So so maybe they just went to the club that night. It doesn't mean that this isn't a Cardi B concert. It's a walk through, a show up, whatever they want to call it. He just comes in, does like a song or two at the end. Or I think it was a day club. So they maybe they didn't necessarily come there for Cardi B, but that doesn't excuse throwing drinks. On Keep in mind, these people are above 21 too to get in there. So we've got... People that are above 21 years of age just like throwing drinks on stage? What is wrong with these people? I didn't think that they would have me defending Cardi B, but I need some context on her chucking that microphone at the DJ because that's when we're starting to get into the territory of like, all right, yo, we defended you the first time. The second time, like, come on. We can only do this so much. You're pulling our threads. You're pulling our string loose with whatever the saying is. I'm not going to edit this. I'm trying to keep it raw. But let me know what y'all think in the comments. Does Cardi B know how to behave with etiquette? Do you guys think that she knows how to do that? Let me know in the comments. Do you think she was wrong here at all? Even with the, I actually really want to hear the opinion from people where she threw the drink and they're like, no, she's not the person that threw the drink. That Cardi B is wrong for even reacting that way to the drink being thrown. Because we've seen rappers have a lot of stuff thrown at them and they didn't react in this way. They would walk off. So for the people that disagree with that, Can you tell me why in your perspective? I really want to hear that. 
Like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Peace.